guys, I'm going to be showing you how to install the HPoot drivers on your uh, any phone you want to root. Uh, I think this goes for the Evo, definitely, the Area, the Desire, um, I think a couple others, I can't really remember right now. But uh, a couple of you have had some trouble doing this, so I just want to make sure you're doing it right. Um, so now this is going to be a little bit more clear. A little bit less blurry. My last video was kind of blurry, so this will be a lot more clear and hopefully it will be less confusing. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Alright, guys, so the first thing you're going to want to do is go to your start, go to control panel, and then you're going to find programs and go to uninstall a program. Now, the two things you're going to want to make sure you do uninstall are HTC Sync and a software called Double Twist if you have it on your computer. Uh, it's going to interrupt with the actual unrevoked method. I don't think it's going to interrupt with the actual HBoot download, but if you are rooting, you're going to want to download or uninstall those two things if you downloaded it. Okay, so after you've done that, where you want to go to install or to download the HBoot drivers, I'll put the link in the description, is this place called Public HBoot Drivers. It'll just, I'll just click on the link in the description, I'll take you right to this page. And uh, what you're going to want to download is the unrevoked modified USB driver. And uh, just click on that and start the download. Um, it also has instructions on how to install it. Uh, if you get confused in this video, you might want to read them. They're really easy to follow. I'll do my best. So I'm going to go ahead and save that somewhere where you can remember where you put it. I'll put it in downloads. It's for me. It's the easiest way to remember. And then save. Alright, so at this point you've downloaded the uh, HPoot drivers on your computer, so now you need to get them on your phone. Um, now, this part, I'm pretty sure... Well, here. I'll go to settings, make sure USB debugging is checked, applications, development, make sure it's checked, and also make sure your phone, whenever you plug it in... Give me a second. Oh, God, one hand sucks. Okay. Alright, make sure your phone is on charge only, not a uh, not disk drive or anything else like that. Just make sure it's on charge only. And uh, also make sure your phone is on a, like a flat surface or something, because I've had a lot of troubles with my, uh, my phone unplugging itself whenever it's not on a flat surface. So, you might want to do that. Okay, so now uh, what you're going to want to do is now, I'm not sure if you have to turn off your phone or not. Uh, you might want to try it either way. Um, you, I don't remember if you have to boot into the uh, actual screen holding power down or with power at the same time. I can't honestly remember. So you might want to just try it with your phone on and then go to, uh, and then try the same thing. Uh, go to, uh, sorry, go to start. Go to devices and printers, file, device manager. And in here you're gonna find um, you're gonna find Android 1.0 uh, somewhere in this list, and it's gonna take you to a screen. One second, you get there. It's gonna take you to a screen, just like just like this one right here. Uh, how do you want to search for driver software? You're gonna go browse my computer, and it should come up Android USB driver slash Android USB driver. And if it's not in there. Uh, go ahead and go to browse, and then just find it wherever you put it, wherever you, uh, whenever you download it, wherever you put it, because that's where it will be, and you're just going to select it, and then click next. And it's going to go ahead and update your driver software for you. I've already done it, so it's not going to go through it for me, but a little bar will come up here, and it will just download it. Um, now, again, I'm not positive if your phone has to be in HBoot by holding the power down, volume down, after your phone's turned off or not. Uh, if it didn't work for you while you had it in the, uh, the H-boot mode, you might want to try it while your phone is on. Uh, I honestly can't remember how you're supposed to do it, but it's not going to hurt your phone or anything like that if you just have it on or off. Um, you might want to try it either way. I, I can't tell you if it will work, but um, which one works. And they both might work. I don't, I don't really honestly know. But uh, one way might be the right way, I don't know. So just play around with it. Uh, I'm sorry I can't give you a definite answer. But um, once you've done that, uh, 
if uh, you did install the driver software with your phone was on, you, you should be fine. Um, you should be able to check it by, uh, let me power my phone off real quick. Power off, shut down. You should be able to check it by powering into HBoot right here. Wait one second. Alright, you hold down power down and volume down at the same time. Just keep holding it down until. Whoa, that's bright. Alright, until you get to this screen. We'll do this little check. Now, it should have fast boot, recovery, sorry, fast boot, recovery, clear storage, sim lock, and under there it should be HBoot USB. Now, above all of this, there should be the HBoot, it should say HBoot right there in that blue. Sorry, you can't really see it very well. But it should say HBoot right there. Now, if that doesn't say HBoot, then I, I don't know, I don't know what, uh, what you did wrong, but it should it should power an H boot just by holding power down and volume down. I don't know how else, where else it would power into, as long as you didn't just automatically boot into uh, recovery, which you won't have unless you're rooted. So, I'm from here. Uh, that should, you just select H boot USB, and it should have uh, it should say H boot USB plug. Now, if you do have that, then you've downloaded the H boot USB drivers. Um, so, honestly, that's, that's really as detailed as I can get, uh, I don't know how else to do it, or what else could have gone wrong. Uh, I hope this helped, it should be a lot clearer, a lot more easy to understand. Um, if it's not, just message me and I'll try to help you again. And, uh, that's really it, guys, so, if you have any questions, comment me, message me, I'll be sure to reply and do my best to, uh, help you out, so. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye.